Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we are using version 510. We will be showing you how to create a Krita pattern and or a stamp. The space image at the start of this video was created utilizing Krita stamps, then saved as a stamp, then scaled back up to the image shown. So let us get started. Open Krita, create a new document. Once your canvas appears, create the design you would like to use as a pattern. Once this is done in Krita, go to the menu bar, clicking on Fill Pattern. Once the Fill Pattern window appears, click on Custom. If for some reason you do not see what you have created on your Krita layer in the preview, be sure the proper layer is highlighted and then click Update. Once this is done and you see your creation in the Krita Fill Pattern Preview, there are a few options to consider. Would you like this pattern to be temporary or permanent? In order to create a temporary Krita pattern, that is what we will do, then clicking Use as a fill pattern is the one to click. If you would like to make a permanent fill pattern, then clicking Add to Predefined Patterns is the one to click. Once you have made your choice, off-click to close the Krita Pattern window. Now, go back to the menu bar, clicking Fill Pattern once again. Scroll through the Fill Patterns will not show your pattern unless you saved it as a predefined. So click on Custom. Notice it is still here. Off-click to close the Krita Fill Pattern once again. Now, for our example, we will create a new layer so as to show the Fill Pattern and how to apply a Fill Pattern. In this Krita version, once the new Krita layer appears, or if you know where you're placing your fill pattern, whether it is yours or a predefined pattern, go to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the Bucket Fill tool. Next, go to Tools and Options. Scroll down to where it says Fill With and scroll over to Fill Pattern and click. Then to the canvas for placement. So now let us create a credit stamp. Using the same image we created for our fill pattern, we have added a new layer for this example. Make sure the proper layer is highlighted and turned on. Go to the menu bar, clicking Edit Brush. Scroll over to Predefined and click. Then click the Add Credit Stamp button. Now, as it describes when you hover over the Add Stamp button, the whole layer will be used if nothing is selected. If you only want a selected portion as a stamp, use the rectangular selection tool in order to select it. 
When the Crit Add stamp window appears, decide if you would like to keep its original color or not. If so, as we do, take the check mark out of the box, create mask from color. Now notice in the preview how the original colors are now shown. Before saving, give it a name. This is something we forgot to do. As you may notice, a very long random lettering for our file name once we saved ours. Then click Save. This will place you in the credit stamp window with your newly created stamp highlighted. There are a few things that can be adjusted here, but first, notice the Krita preview window to the right. Give it a click, and then adjust the size in order to get a good visual. Once a good visual is obtained, close the Krita Edit Brush window so as to return to the canvas. And click on the canvas. So this took me a few minutes to figure out. Notice my stamp no longer holds its original color, even though that is how I saved it. Now some may consider this a Krita glitch, but I am thinking it is not. Knowing how stamps work in general, what color was last used in the color selector is what a stamp will use. So let us go back into the Krita Edit Brush. Once the Krita Edit Brush opens, go to the Lightness drop-down menu and click. Then scroll to color image and click. Now notice our preview area. All our colors are back the way they were. So let us close the edit brush window. Let us give it another click on the credit canvas to confirm. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Now let us open the Krita Edit Brush window again and bring our Krita stamp to its largest size for the next part of our example. Once this is done, close the Krita Edit Brush window and we will add a new layer. Once this is done, bring your Kasor that is a stamp box to a centered position and click. Next, go back into the Krita Edit Brush and click on Auto and then close the Edit Brush. Next, go to the toolbox clicking on the Rectangular Selection Tool and to the canvas, drawing a box around the stamp. Then to the toolbox, clicking on the Transform a Layer or Selection Tool. Then to the Tools and Options, place a dot in, in Scale. Then to the canvas, adjusting its size to the full area of the canvas. Once this is done, deselect the stamp and export as a full PNG. We hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? Ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I, I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free.
the beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.